Welcome to the video, HP Prime Guide, Arithmetic Fundamentals, Racial and Proportion. Let's start by clearing our calculator. We notice that our calculator is in CAS mode. This is because the last thing done in our calculator was the solve operation, and the solve operation only works in CAS mode. We'll leave it in CAS mode for now, but on the rest of the pages, we'll switch it to the home view. This page has our definitions for ratio and proportion. Our equivalent form for 10 is to 15 as 2 is to 3 may be written as a fraction. 10 over 15 equals 2 over 3. The proportion has four terms. The first and fourth are called the streams. The second and third, the means. If any numerical proportion, the product of the means equals the product of the stream is a rule that we will be using. In our percentage video, we used ratio and proportion to solve problems and to solve application problems. This is our favorite technique for solving application problems. The type 1, type 2, and 3 problems could be solved by the calculator in CAS mode as well. Let's review the type 1, type 2, and type 3 percent problems one more time with the ratio and proportion technique. The base times the rate is equal to percentage. Solving this problem for rate, we would have that rate is equal to percentage over base. Rate is going to be in terms of percent. We have the rate over 100%, 25% over 100%, and X over 100%. The percentage over the base would be X over 200, 2 over X, 8 over 20. This is a numerical proportion since the percents drop out and the amounts drop out. We have a numerical proportion that the product of means equals the product of the extremes. We would have here 100x equal to 200. Here we've used the symmetric property a equals b, b equals a, so we flip around the means and extremes so that we have the x on the left. What we have is 25x equals 200, 20x equals 800. This screen shows us the answers in CAS view. Since we prefer to use home view in this tutorial, let's switch our calculator over to home view and work this problem out. Switching to home view. Clearing the calculator out. All three problems involve taking the right side and dividing it by the coefficient of x on the left side. 200 divide 100 press enter 200 Divide 25, press enter, 800, divide 20, press enter. Notice that the home view and the CAS view are identical. We have switched to the ratio application page. When we're dealing with ratios, we're dealing with amount over an amount. So when we put an amount over an amount, the unit will cancel out and the ratio would turn out to be a number. That's what they say in this discussion. Let's clear our calculator. Twelve units, length, yard, divide, three hundred 
three unit length yard press enter and we get the answer for just like we said earlier the units drop out and we just get a numeric answer find the missing antecedent consequence or ratio a cubic feet of water weighs 62.5 pounds and a cubic feet of platinum weighs 1,345 and 625 hundredths of a pound. Find correct to the nearest hundredth the ratio of the weight of platinum to water. This is going to be A divided by B, our ratio. We need to divide these two numbers. Let's go to our calculator and do this. Start by clearing our calculator. One thousand three forty five point six two five unit mass pound divide six two point five unit mass pound press enter and we get our answer to be 21.53 notice the pounds canceled out and we just got a number for our answer The ratio of a cubic feet to a Strickland bushel is about four-fifths. How many cubic feet are there in a bin that holds 160 stricken bushels? Stricken means to level, strike, rather than heap. We have X divided by 160 bushel equals one cubic feet over four-fifths of a bushel. Solving this for X, we have one cubic feet divided by four-fifths bushel times 160. So we'll do this problem in our calculator. Start with the parentheses. One unit cubic feet divide four divide five get out of our fraction unit volume scroll bushel Get out of our parentheses times 160 unit volume scroll bushel press enter. Get our answer to be 200 cubic feet. We now turn to the proportion application page. Start by querying our calculator. Read over the direct and inversely proportional information here. Down here we will actually apply it so you will understand better what goes on when we uh, apply it. The first example is direct variation. We find making a chart helpful. Also, when you work this problem out, it's best to write this information down on a sheet of paper so that it's easier to follow. When two and a half inches on a certain scale represent 100 miles, what distance is represented on the same scale by 15 inches? From a chart, we have two and a half inches represents 100 miles, 15 inches represents X miles. Using ratios, this is two and a half 
is to 15 inches as 100 miles is to X miles. From our paper, we have changed this ratio to fractions. So we have two and a half is to 15 as 100 is to X. Then we use the product of the means and extremes. Two and a half X equals 15 times 100. So then the answer is X is equal to 15 times 100 divided by two and a half. So we'll go over to our calculator and work this problem out and we'll keep the units with us. Parentheses for the numerator, 15 unit length inch times 100 unit length scroll miles get outside of our parentheses divide parentheses 2 plus 1 divided by 2 for our fraction get outside of our parentheses unit length inches press enter get the answer to be 600 miles our last thing will be inversely if a train running 40 miles per hour runs a certain distance in four hours and what time will it run the same distance if it runs 30 miles per hour for the inverse ratio, we have to take the 30 to 40 and switch it to 40 to 30. We organize the stuff in our chart. X hours is to 30 hours, as 4 hours is to 40 hours. Then we write down our ratio. X hours is to 40, 4 hours. And then we turn this one around as 40 miles per hour is to 30 miles per hour with the inverse ratio. Using paper for our details, we switch this over to fraction form. X over 4 equals 40 over 30. Then we use the means and extremes. 30X equals 4 times 40. Then we solve for X. So the problem becomes 4 times 40 divided by 30. We will do this on our calculator and we will use the units. Using parentheses, for unit time hour times 40 unit speed miles per hour Get outside our parentheses, divide 30 unit speed miles per hour, press enter. Hit our ABC button and switch this to five and a third hours. This ends our video on racial and proportions.